China has said the U.S. Indo-Pacific strategy is as dangerous as NATO's eastward expansion in Europe resulting in Russia's military aggression against Ukraine. What China is hinting here is the quadrilateral security dialogue colloquially known as the Quad, a forum comprising the four nations, namely the USA, India, Japan and Australia. This group first interacted in 2007 on the sidelines of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. In November 2017, India, Japan, the US and Australia gave shape to the long pending proposal of setting up the Quad to develop a new strategy to keep the critical sea routes in the Indo-Pacific free of any influence amidst China's growing military presence in the region. Welcome to Kaumadi Global. Let us see what are China's apprehensions or perhaps warnings and how India has countered it. China's Vice Foreign Minister Li Yu Cheng recently said with the disintegration of the Soviet Union, NATO should have been consigned to history alongside the Warsaw Pact. However, rather than breaking up, NATO has kept strengthening and expanding. One could well anticipate the consequences going down this path. The crisis in Ukraine is a stern warning, he pointed out. He was addressing the International Forum on Security and Strategy hosted by the Center for International Security and Strategy of Tsinghua University in Beijing on Saturday. All sides need to jointly support Russia and Ukraine in having dialogue and negotiation that will produce results and lead to peace. One should not seek its own absolute security, said Li, the former Chinese ambassador. He added that since NATO made a promise back then, it should not go back on its word and keep pushing its boundary eastward. The pursuit of absolute security actually leads to absolute insecurity. Going against the trend to pursue the Indo-Pacific strategy will provoke trouble, put together closed and exclusive small circles or groups and get the region off course towards fragmentation and block-based division. And this is as dangerous as the NATO strategy of eastward expansion in Europe, Lee said. If allowed to go on unchecked, it would bring unimaginable consequences and ultimately push the Asia-Pacific over the edge of an abyss, he said. We in Asia must keep the future firmly in our own hands, pursue independent, balanced and prudent foreign policies and seek strength through unity in the process of Asia-Pacific regional integration, Lee said, according to the excerpts of his address posted on the website of the Chinese Foreign Ministry. Early this month, China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi in his annual press conference said Washington is seeking to create an Asian NATO to suppress Beijing. The real goal for the Indo-Pacific strategy is to establish an Indo-Pacific version of NATO, Wang said. He even equated the Quad with the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance involving Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the US and UK and the AUKUS, that is Australia, UK, US Defence Pact. Earlier External Affairs Minister S. J. Shanghai had dismissed the notion that the Quad is an Asian NATO and said that there are interested parties whose advance such as analogies and one should not slip into it. Quad is a grouping of four countries who have common interests, common values, a great deal of comfort, who happen to be located at four corners of the Indo-Pacific, who found out that in this world no country, not even the US has the ability to address global challenges all on their own. Jayashankar told a panel discussion at the Munich Security Conference 2022 at Munich last month.